we're driving down Pittman Hill Road in Cottleville, St. Peter's area. Just right next to Whitmore Country Club, the back of uh, all the houses over there. Um, this area is not too bad. Let's see. You look around. But just as we come over this hill up here, it uh, gets really bad. You'll start to see some of the tarps on the houses. And of the trees that are down. It's just crazy. There's a couple fences that are down. Over to my right here is Whitmore Country Club. You can see these uh, the debris starting. And right around this bend is uh, where you can really tell. Look up here, these fences are down. There's the entire back of a house is gone up here. Oh wow. Look at the size of these trees that are down. Yeah, that's That's just the entire back of this house is gone. country club so and uh looks like he sold quite a few to be honest with you heavy duty equipment or scope uh, sounds like a commercial and then as we go down towers road this is really bad this is where um some houses were completely lost um, as we go through, you can see some of the blue tarps back there. We're coming up on the fire station. Right behind the fire station, there's, uh, there's houses that are completely gone back over here. And there's another street called Sham that we're coming up on. Yeah, there's another street up here called Havisham. Like, look at that tree there. That there's actually a uh, house in the rock here. That's the like the corner look over here. Right here. This is where houses are actually completely gone off Havisham and our house is the next block next block over on the right you can't see it but there's literally uh, three houses that are completely gone um, they finally just opened this road Towers Road um, this is going through like these all these houses, look at the devastation there. The garage there in the barn. It's a friend of ours rental house right there. Yeah. This is the dog kennel. Obviously not letting any dogs out right now because they have no fence. Um, this is the back way into our subdivision. This side of the subdivision did not get hit that bad. Considering um, this is this is really nothing as far as how bad the subdivision got hit. Front part, another fence gone. Garage <coughs> gone.
yeah, this could be a lot worse than it is. To be honest with you, that house is a mess. Um. Lots of roofs, lots of blue tarps all over. Don't look at me like that. Uh, the whole back end of that house is gone. We'll go up and do one more loop here. This is through the front of our subdivision. And kind of see tarps. There's a... Uh, friend of ours house right there pretty bad this one um, you'll see this house right up here if you can tell there is no wall that's not a garage door open um, more Those garages towns. blown out destroyed their car This house caught quite a bit of damage right in the front of the subdivision. Down here, if you look, there's a lot of these houses. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Guys. How are you guys? Yeah, we're good. Just a little no. messy. Not bad. Yeah, yeah us too. Yeah. All these freaking looky loos. We had to make a sign. No. Said oh, residents really? only. <laughs> yeah. Good. No looky loos. We're only allowed to looky loo. I don't know. This is the back side of Havisham comes in back over here and this is right through the path of some real nastiness. No, I'm just also narrating it just for the sake of, you know, having it like if you go through there that's where literally there's four or five houses that are completely gone back through there that was a fence and then here's another uh, way around through I'm stopping I just get up where I can see you can't see around all the bushes so you've pretty much had it there you go.